Good then to take a look at some of the previous highlights of the games played with Loughborough's win over York and Bolton beating Hartbury. But here they come head to head in what promises to be an exciting game. He does, yeah. You've got two teams who will play on the front foot, play exciting attacking football, and futsal, even slip of the words. And um, you've got teams that are going to look to going to look to go and impact the game. They'll press high, they'll try and take the game to the opposition, and I think throughout you're going to hopefully see goals in this one, and it should be end-to-end -end stuff. Well, you'd imagine so. Both sets of teams, squads, definitely have players who. Love to go 1v1, don't they, Matt? And the dynamic aspect of the squads and the way in which they both look to play and take the game to the opposition, that's going to make for an interesting watch. Definitely, yeah. And, and Bolton missing a couple still. We know Oscar Lucas is still out with that ankle injury suffered a couple of weeks ago. Um, there may be doubts as well over the fitness of, of the likes of Connor Wood Woodworth and Kyle Lawless on their bench. But they still have players like Stuart Cook, Rafe Barber, Mikey Bulmer, who will engage 1v1, will go and impact the game, will go and try and make things happen. And it makes it exciting, doesn't it? From a Loughborough point of view, they'll be well organised, they'll work really hard out of possession, and then when they have got it, they'll look to get the ball to their danger men, the likes of Jamie Hunter, Fabio Tashira, Luke Abdi, Thiago Santos, players who we've seen time and time again can hurt the opposition. Well, already today we've seen 35 goals across the three games played in the men's Tier 1 of the FA National Futsal Series, and surely more in store in this one. The teams are out onto the court. Loughborough in their regular all-purple and Bolton in all-black today. Let's take a look at how the two teams line up then, starting with Loughborough. They have Joe Bickerstaff in goal. Fabio Teixeira, Joseph Hall, Johnny Langley and Jake Andrews make up the rest of their starting lineup. The substitutes are Maxwell Graffi, Joseph Huckster, Jamie Hunter, the captain Neil Morgan, Luke Abdi, Reese Whitehart and Thiago Santos. They're coached as ever by Jose Lorente. Let's have a look at Bolton's team then. They are without a couple, as Matt mentioned. One of those being Oscar Lucas, sidelined through injury. Joe Payne is the captain and starts between the sticks in goal. Rafe Barber, Stuart Cook, Connor Kernahan and Mikey Bulmer also start. Rob Harper, Kai Lawless, Jordan Astle, Sam McGrath, Connor Woodworth, Harrison Jackson and Robbie Dean are the substitutes. Coach is Joe Ryan. Really interesting, Bolton only have one goalkeeper here today, so there's no keeper on the bench, so if, God forbid, I don't want to curse him, but if anything was to happen to Joe Payne in, the, Joe Payne in this game, it'd be really interesting as to how Bolton would cope with that. This will be a really intense one. You'll have two teams who will look to go out, look to engage nice and high. to go and take the game to the opponents even when they've not got possession expect a high tempo <laughs> expect lots and lots of shots lots and lots of 1v1 battles the team is just undergoing their final pre-match preparations Loughborough there out on court in the huddle and they're moments away from kickoff your referees for this match, by the way, are head referee Carl Jones. Second referee is Andrew Thompson. And the timekeeper is Will Thompson. So it will be Bolton to get us started then. When the whistle blows and Conor Kernahan the player to get the ball moving. Yeah. And the red ref. <laughs> yeah, fired away from the goalkeeper Bickerstaff. It actually came off Loughborough's defender to share it before striking the referee. A little bit of a mix up there between Bickerstaff and Tashira, wasn't it? I think where Lorente will be pleased is his goalkeeper was decisive. Straight away you see Bolton looking to play high, 
All four players inside. That attacking third of the court. Will Gamble will trust Joe Payne. And likewise, you'll see Loughborough do exactly the same. Barber receives the ball there off Cook. Back to Stuart Cook and Barber once more down wide left. Good save by the goalkeeper Bickerstaff. A really smart start, which did really well. Barber wriggling free. Really energetic starting quarter for Bolton. Barber, Kernahan, Bulmer. They'll constantly move, they'll constantly look to bring the player coach, Stuart Cook, into the game. Makes it easy. Speaking to him a few weeks ago, he says playing with, with players like this, he makes it easy for him. He can just almost dictate the game and they'll do his running. Bolton have a kick in here. Bulmer punches the ball down on the line, takes it back to Rafe Barber. Bolton have started promisingly with the early possession and the action from Loughborough's half of the court. Cook, space ahead of him, tries to feed the pass through, but it didn't quite work out. Then on the counter attack, Loughborough tried to see their first offensive move. Rolls over the near side touchline. Yeah, clever idea, wasn't it? Execution not quite there from Jake Andrews, and Langley nowhere near it. Sarber on the end of the parallel there, and the touch comes off to Sherry to take it out to the corner. We expected though, wasn't it? End to end stuff. Half chance at one end leads to something at the other. Let's see what Bolton have got from set pieces. Interestingly, looking to block very early on. Get two players in into the box. Bulmer straight back to him and now Cook. Great aggression from Loughborough, isn't there in that? The intensity of that press. Looking to go and win that ball back. Really smart screen from Rafe Barber there. Freeing up some room for Stuart Cook to go and play. Yeah, Pres just pressure just allowed for Cook to drive yeah. on there, didn't it, with the screen? Yeah, because the pressure was really good from Fabio Tashira. Intelligent play. Cross to the goalkeeper here, Bickerstaff, who's used as a bit of an escape route out of defence. Back to Bickerstaff, this time in a more central position, Andrews. To Shearer, holding the ball up nicely. Left his first real spell of possession sent long and then out by the head of Bulmer. It's left for Andrews and into a dangerous area and there's the game's first goal. Just needed the slightest touch and it came from Hume. It's a great finish, isn't it? A really smart finish, just to get a touch on it. Clever set piece. Andrews across goal, and Hume gets there before Cook and is able to deflect it home past Joe Payne. No chance for the Bolton keeper. First blood, Loughborough. With their first proper opportunity as well, and then Bolton looking to hit back immediately, right? Down the other end with an instant response was what they were looking for. And it stays at 1-0. It's good from Hume as well. That That's as good as a goal, isn't it? That defending determination to make sure he snuffed out that attack as he, as he dropped away for Rafe Barber. Great lively start to this one. Yeah, really lively start to it. It's because that gets us going again from the back for Loughborough. off his line quickly there, the Bolton captain to come and sweep up any potential danger in behind.
That's the goal scorer for Loughborough. Joe Hume was in the right place at the right time, but at least a diverted goal bound. Bickerstaff goes for goal from range as it opened up there momentarily for him. No pressure on the ball, and Bickerstaff didn't need asking twice to shoot. He didn't know, and he will. He, he will come over halfway. He will come and get involved like that. He was happy to to come forward, Joe Bickerstaff. This trademark of goalkeepers produced by Loughborough, isn't it? Certainly have come through that university program. To share a brilliant burst of speed and acceleration down the left. Just took a heavy touch in the end as he was held up by the defender. But there's a little preview of the pace and power that you might get from him later on in the game. Really intelligent player as well. 1v1. Can wriggle away down either side. Looks to get himself into good shooting opportunities happy to have shots at goal just going back to that goal you know wonder whether they might be a little bit of an inquest in the bottom defense as to why they were almost sat off and they weren't looking to block that shot a lot more it's very very easy for it to come across goal wasn't it is Abdi. He's had an explosive start to the season for Loughborough. Looking at the ball again, and the player's gone down off it. It was Joe Huckster who was fouled. Okay. Nice little give and go. See what they're attempting. Foul from Kernahan. Just prevented it. Foul a piece, and I don't expect we'll see many more given the plethora of 1v1 players that we have. There's another opportunity there, and that time it was Thiago Santos. Might have been a mistake from referees before that, then. Will Thompson put the first foul potentially on the wrong, wrong side of the board. Seems to have corrected it. Santos just didn't quite believe on that one, did he? He was almost just there and almost preventing Mikey Bulmer getting there, really. Didn't believe he had the, the opportunity, as much as he did. I think as a coach there, he just wanted him to put his foot through it. Really good work from Sam McGrath, getting back in, covering. Yeah, ricocheted back there off Abdi, so Bolton have the ball back, but they find themselves a goal down. Kernahan round the corner, heavy challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, felt that one. No stranger to them. Sam McGrath likes to dish them out himself. And that's what is technically known as leaving one on someone. <laughs> Well, no foul given, and we restart from the kick in as Bulmer tried to make something of that down the wide right for Bolton. Okay, interestingly, both put that. Oh, it's well oh, it's set for the shot, and it was a good move round from that set piece. Bolton coming Skin close there through the as well. Potentially, Rob Harper blocking really well, wasn't he? I'm not sure if it hits the post or the, the sort of back up right. It's close. Well worked set piece. McGrath sees the ball taken away from him. Good tackle. Now Loughborough set themselves off on a counter down the other way. Hunter. Corner. Good opportunity. Hunter apologising, knows that pass had to go across for Luke Abdi. No quality on it, and in the end, has to try and rescue something and resurrect it. Manages to get a corner, and Loughborough will look to see what they can build from this. McGrath, well held up by Santos. Already, in this opening five minutes, you've seen a desire haven't you from both teams out of possession willing to engage willing to go and win challenges Which 
quicker tempo than we've seen in the last two games. Probably more similar to the first game of the day, really. That's a nice play. Challenge. Yeah, good tackle from Thiago Santos. Certainly came and took all that was in his way, but let the ball well. He's feeling that one, isn't he? Kind of going at that. Will be sore. Thiago Santos, the brother of Ruben Santos, of course, who was such a big player for Loughborough, especially last campaign. He's departed the scene of the NFS now. Doing really well as well from conversations I've had with people in the Loughborough camp. Really pleased with his progress. Something I think they hope at some stage they will get him back. It's unfortunate, wasn't it? Nearly came through from the graph. They're hoping at some stage they may be able to to bring you back into the fold, but I'm sure there'll be a number of clubs looking around him. Family ties to, to people at Helvetia. I'm sure they'll be sniffing also. Based on what we saw this morning, they could do with a, a recruit of, of that quality. Yeah, and if you did miss it then just a reminder, Bloomsbury stormed to a 7-0 win over London Halvesia. That was in game one. That's the final to close out the weekend. Cook storming forward with the ball. He plays it wide left, and that's a good stop from Bickerstaff. Big save. Really good stop, isn't it? Excellent from Cook. Finding the pass. And oh, Abdi's just lost, lost his trouble. footing there. Yeah, did get himself in a bit of a sticky situation, but Harper... Didn't really make him pay. Here we see great feet from Stuart Cook. Really good disguise, reverse pass. And Joe Vickerstaff stood tall, stood big. Denied Jordan Astle. Bolton there pressing high and forcing the error to win the ball back by virtue of the kick in. been a staple of both teams hasn't it so far willing to go and press high press hard as well when they do it foul there on Jamie Hunter Still the relative early stages of the game. Left for leading by one goal to it came courtesy of Joe Hume. Turning home from close range. Pick a staff here looking to offer himself as an option. And Bolton retreat back as Loughborough set up with the five and the fly goalkeeper. No clear and obvious option there though for Bickerstaff and it's set for Cook to maybe try and shoot. I thought for a moment he was going to, in the end it ends up with a shot back at Payne. Cook steps in as he looks to try to take control. Abdi, it's still there for Loughborough and in the end it's slammed clear by Lawless. Yeah, very nearly got themselves in a mess there, didn't they? Head coach and captain ball sort of dropped between them neither really took charge of it and in the end Kyle Lawless stepped in just to slam it away and happy to concede the corner corner then for Loughborough Luke Abdi places the ball down and lofts it for the volley it was struck sweetly enough but well wide in the end, not quite the direction, but good contact. Really good contact, yeah. Almost too good, in a way. He was just slightly lacked the direction, didn't even lack the control of that because of the, the nature of the contact he made. Look how quickly Loughborough are rushing and, and pressing hard in, in terms of every second pass they're in quickly. Doesn't matter who it is.
Forward ball by Hunter, it's still there, and that's 2-0. Well, it broke kindly for Ruben Santos, and no mistake in front of goal. As we see again on the replay, it was the touch from Cook that diverted the ball into the path of Santos. Love for a double their lead. It's a really good finish, isn't it, once it comes to him. Has to be controlled, very easy for that to, to go over the bar. And wayward, it's a great strike. Unfortunate, really. Stuart Cook stepping into facing his own goal, trying to defend the pass through on the diagonal. Just dropped away from him. He'll be frustrated with himself. Loughborough, really strong start to this game. Yeah, certainly two to the good now. And Santos with the latest goal. Had to improvise as it came to him quickly, didn't he? And it was a measured finish because, as you say, Matt, easy to blaze that one high over the bar, certainly off target, but composed in front of goal when the opportunity presented itself. Lawless there receives the ball from the kick in. Barber. Again, Hunter in so, so quickly, wasn't he? Rafe Barber had no time whatsoever. Lawless found themselves in the same position there and almost had to adjust out of that. Bottom probably fortunate to get away with that one. Bulmer to Barber. Oh, and it's been turned in. It's an own goal. I think the final touch came off the captain, Neil Morgan. The unfortunate player who's diverted it into his own net. Yeah, indeed it did. And maybe a bit of fortune from Bolton's perspective that it didn't ricochet back off Bickerstaff's legs either, but that's 2-1. Game on. Really good movement. Rafe Barber found, found himself free on this left-hand side a couple of times now. Shifts that ball well, looks to find that second post area. And yeah, disappointing for Neil Morgan. Perhaps wrong side of that, or feel he's wrong side of that ball across. Could only divert it back towards his own goal and completely wrong footed his goalkeeper. Bolton now then looking to swing the pendulum in their favour. Robbie Dean on court here. His first, first minutes of this game. I saw him make his debut over at Nottingham a couple of weeks ago and speaking to Mick Parrish now, someone they're really proud of with the club from a very, very young age, one of the first players he ever had in the very first team that, that Bolton created. So to see him sort of progress into their first team is a really proud moment. Bickerstaff on his favoured left foot there, it opened up for the shot as the left-footed player. Back just in time to gather from the long range Strike to goal. Comes with enough in the end for him. Grappy. Andrews can't return the ball back to him, and that's dangerous. Here's Cook. Cork looking for the second oh. post. Vital touch from Bickerstaff. Yeah, Dean was in there, wasn't he? In quickly. Really good stop. It's fantastic feet, isn't it, from Cook just to engineer this space. Grappy flat footed. team have a goalkeeper on the bench we spoke beforehand off off air didn't we about Jamie White being missing yeah Jamie White who has somewhat established himself as the goalkeeper of choice in the Loughborough team but Joe Bickerstaff who played so many minutes for Loughborough last season has had minutes this season as well and played halves of games but we'll have to play the whole 40 minutes here Interesting one as to how both teams would cope if anything was to happen. I know Joe Bickerstaff in particular has been recovering from an injury. Seem, seems okay, doesn't he? It's not like it's something that worries him, but could pose a problem. 
especially in a game that's that's been quite quite physical as this one has been so far. Foul starting to tot up as well. Yeah, a high tempo to the game, a high intensity. Halting in possession through Barber. And it's Dean. Again, great pressure. Loughborough win the ball back, forcing Bolton back towards their own goal line. Not able, Rafe Barber not able to do anything other than what he did in the end, and that was just to see the ball out of play. Morgan trying to feed it across the face of goal, which he did, but Andrews maybe caught on his heels a little bit. I think he knew as well, didn't he, Jake Andrews? He should have been more alert to that one. One throw out, it's met in the air by the head of Maxwell Grappi. Teams taking an age over kickings and things, aren't they? And really taking the most out of them four seconds. It's another foul. It's four now. I think Young rubbed in to find himself in the in the book. Yeah, yellow card. Yeah, first caution of the game goes to Robbie Dean of Bolton for that foul. It's a poor pass out, wasn't it? In, in the first place, just under hit the pass. Jake Andrews seized on it and he had to had to try and recover. Good area this though. Interesting setup with almost like a flat four. No one no one in the D. Imagine they'll try and attack post with their movement. There we go. Yeah, plenty of runners off the ball and oh, there it's, it's worked for them and it's Andrews. Morgan took the free kick. A player who scored the unfortunate own goal, and it's finished by Andrews and Loughborough have their cushion back. It's a really simple one again, isn't it? Andrews ghosting into that area. No one's awake to it. Joe Payne could do nothing about the close range effort. Got something on it. But Loughborough. Restore that two goal advantage. Yes, so it's 3 1. And a well worked set piece as well, isn't it? So often in tight games like this, set pieces become a real key part of what, what goes on. Look for a really well, well organised from them. Bolton have a lot of work to do. Payne with a poor pass that time, gives the ball back to Loughborough and Morgan. Morgan has it again and he sends it forwards. Back now in the arms and the hands of Bickerstaff. Okay, Langley up to Grappy there. Yeah, very nearly there. I thought Langley had got himself in a little bit of trouble. Seemed to have let that ball run too, run too far. Managed to rescue it. If we're trying to draw Bolton out here, great space in behind. No foul given, the game's allowed to continue. I'm surprised at that. Yeah, look, one that you would usually expect the referees were to be blown for. Carl Jones in a really good position, though. Wonder whether he felt Jake Andrews was looking for it rather than the contact being the first thing. Looked scruffy from McGrath, didn't it, from our angle, but just initial initial thing was probably slightly off camera. Here's McGrath in possession. Good intervention by Andrews. From maybe now just looking to try to assert their dominance on the game and get a control about it, which despite the scoreline they haven't really had so far, but four goals in the game and three of them have gone to the front. No, very end to end. Isn't it so far? Bolton well in it. Both teams aggressive in their press, looking to take the game to the opponent. And you know, finishing's been the difference, really, hasn't it? Loughborough 
been really good in the final third, whereas Bolton's moments have, have come to nothing other than their goal. A few years ago, Neil Morgan, like Stella got on the end of that one. Loose touch. He'll have played on this court a few times in his career. Plays a really interesting role in this Loughborough team now, doesn't he? The captain. Doesn't play a lot of minutes. Quite clearly a big presence for them. Good turn there and looking to try to feed the ball forward to Astle with McGrath, but too much on it. Right for the kick in again. Loughborough make use of the goalkeeper's positioning on the far side to force Bolton to retreat back. Here's Bickerstaff, fires oh. it in, and then Abdi from close range with the final touch. In the end, not the direction at all that he wanted. In the end, Luke Abdi's pretty much done Bolton's job for them, hasn't he? It's great clearance. Just couldn't direct it goalwards. Yeah, just couldn't adjust his feet in time there, Abdi, who's just a yard off aren't they in those situations when they're recovering back towards their own goal just don't look quick enough at times Kernahan a couple of times has been caught out in that situation so good from Cook just trying to, to turn the game back the other way really intelligent coach Stuart Cook uses himself really well Played a lot of minutes in this one so far as well, Stuart Cook, trying to turn the screw back in the favour of Bolton. Probably more so than he'd want to as well. What what he does do is he uses himself with his young side in a in a role where he, he has an impact on trying to, to influence and trying to get them on top in games. See almost going into a pivot position here. We want to get on the ball, we want to get the players moving around him. Lawless was fouled there by Abdi. Another foul to add to the count. I always think referees just need to be careful with, with those sorts of challenges because you make a rub for your own back almost later on in the game when you've given them ones now. When foul counts build up and a challenge like that, as an example, where there's a lot more contact than the last one isn't called. Yes, Joe Huxley wins the ball, but the question would be, is that a challenge you want to see in a futsal game? Give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, great turn by Cook. As he span away from the pressure from Abdi. It's a fantastic turn, isn't it? Something he's done time and time again in his career. Cook with a bobbling pass that time to Lawless when it crosses the line. Yeah, characteristic. Uncontrolled pass from Cook. Staff again, wide left, and it's palmed away by Payne. Bolton somehow have got to get more pressure on the ball in these situations, haven't they? It's a really good strike from Bickerstaff. Had Payne scrambling, it's a good stop. Won't want to see his op opposite number score. Hume, so that's a fine save. stop, split save. It's a really good save, that one is. It's a good strike, isn't it? Lawless going down the other way for Bolton. Kick it. Yeah, hooks it as well, just to almost guide him out of play. Never look at that one. There yeah, on the replay, got down so quickly with his left foot there to meet the ball as it was destined for the bottom corner. Tries to skip by Abdi, but that time he's held up. Bulmer back there to win the ball back for Bolton, though. Bulmer again. And the free kick for the infringement off the ball. 
this one just before the, the challenge by Joe Hookstar and Stuart Cook, perhaps. Takes the fouls to 4-3. Just starting to tot up, aren't they? As we approach the end of this half, could come into play, as we say. Cook with a long diagonal that was asking the question of somebody to be on the end of Mikey Bournemouth's closest to it. Biggest stuff there with the long throw out, it's Hume. It's done really well. Yeah, off, offloaded well and gets the ball back oh, here, Hume. Another safe. good stop by Payne. <laughs> what a move that is. Joe Hume, Hume had no, no right to keep this move alive. Switches it out to the left-hand side. It comes back to him. And he just tried to guide it past Joe Payne, did he? Didn't he? It's a fantastic save from the bottom keeper. Yeah, it didn't really do much wrong there, Hume, but it's a standing stop from close range to keep the score at 3-1. And now maybe Bolton can get another, and it's very nearly another own goal as Huxter came sliding in. It's a good reaction stop from Bickerstaff this time. A really good stop. We've seen great saves at both ends. Mikey Bulmer did everything right, just tried to guide it back central. Hooks to sliding in, comes in, wins the ball, and very nearly sends it towards goal. Timeout Bolton here. They'll look to set something up on the board, I believe. Yeah, five and a half minutes to go then until the interval. Loughborough leading by three goals to one. A really entertaining game, hasn't it? This one, great way to round off the day here at St George's Park. But game is in the balance. Yes, Loughborough perhaps just about edged it in terms of the way they've approached the game. Joe Payne certainly been the busier of the two keepers. Bolton still possess an awful lot that could harm this look for a team and they will know that this will be about that this will be about making sure they do the basics right making sure they stick to their principles yeah both sides have got players out there amongst their ranks who can produce a moment of magic and in an instant what can Bolton work then from this set piece from the corner they've had time to think about it now can they go and execute what they've planned the whistle's gone to stop that it's fortunate that is as well because that completely kills whatever idea it was that they they had you would think they have to surely now might have to try and mix this up yes they do back it goes Very to cook and yeah, it was on target and lawless was lurking around the goal mouth as well if a touch was made abdi Ryan, Hookster and Lawless. Off, off ball. Couple of, couple of little phases there where there's just a few little comings together, a few words being said. Both, both will get involved in those sorts of things. Shara, Hume. He's trying to find Abdi, wasn't he? He'd already moved his way into that second post area. Yeah, just maybe needed to look up before playing that pass there. Fantastic pressure again, forcing the error. Hoxter. Cross court from right to left, two to share. Great strength, Mikey Bulmer. Yeah, good really tackle, well. and then Bulmer fouled. Right to share on the follow up. And again, that's another example of one we were talking about earlier. It's okay to give it, yes, probably is a foul, but if you're not careful later on in the game, once you've started giving them, players will be asking for them at times where we're on four fouls each now, so a couple of fouls time. You wouldn't want to give that. There's still over four minutes to play in this first period and if either side commit a further two fouls from here then that sixth foul will result in a 10 meter penalty 
Bulmer across to Payne, and Payne tries to return the ball back to Bulmer, but this place is the pass. And it sums up why Bolton are losing this game, I think, for me. They've had some really bright moments, but then at times have just been very, very lapsed, not defended these sorts of situations very well. They've been really lapsed in possession when they've, they've had it with very little pressure, like that one there. Payne's long throw out in distribution. It does reach all the way through. This is a great chance. Good save. Really good stop to deny Kernahan. He recovered well, didn't he? Bigger staff just for a moment here as this ball drops. And here, I thought he'd overcommitted. The goal seemed to open up. He got a cross goal and scampered across really, really quickly. Yeah, well, Jamie Hunter went flying through the air to desperately try to stop that ball reaching Kernahan. It did reach Kernahan, but back there behind him to salvage the situation with his goalkeeper Bickerstaff. Game definitely in the balance, isn't it here? Over again, look to use Joe Bickerstaff just to, to pin Bolton back inside their half. Staff has it again. Looking for the long diagonal to Santos. It's just too high for him to control. Yeah, clever idea. Just too high. Surrenders possession and Bolton will come again. What can they work now? Very flat, very deep here. Yeah, it was a poor pass from Harper there to kick the ball back to Loughborough. Bolton did nip into momentarily with it back and they still will with the kicking. Just a couple of times both teams just need to take control of individual situations, don't they? A couple of examples there, one after the other. Bulmer goes for goal. Well held that time by Bickerstaff, who made sure it didn't spill. Santos, Bolton looking to keep Loughborough camped in. Forced the longer pass, which proved to be just a reset. So can Bolton find themselves their second before half-time? That would really tee things up nicely for the second half. Loughborough will be hoping not and hoping that they can keep this two-goal lead and pushing to sit on intact. Really good work again from Jamie Hunter. Four or five times now in this half, you've seen him nipping quickly and win, win possession back like that. Harper with the last touch there to take the ball over the near side touchline and maybe a little problem for Jamie Hunter. Okay to continue, back to his feet and he'll take this kick in. A really physical game, hasn't it, so far? No surprise to see a couple of the players who were just feeling it. Oh, there it goes to the second post and it was Santos. Very close to 4-1 there as the pass was near perfect from Hunter. Well, he'd have been completely unsighted there. He's done really well. There's the fifth foul as it's brought back with no advantage. Five fouls as indicated by the timekeeper there, Will Thompson. pass from Sam McGrath. So Loughborough now need to be very careful that they don't commit another foul that isn't necessary. Asking for handball there against McGrath, but it seemed to come off the chest. Here's 
Robbie Dean. Dean has done well there to beat the first defender in Andrews. Turned away at the near post. Right. Even on five fouls, Jake Andrews very, very aggressive here. Trying to wriggle his way through again. It's McGrath, rounds the goalkeeper. McGrath was cleared on the line. What was used to clear that is the question being asked by McGrath. Interesting to take another look at it, wasn't it? He was incensed. Did really well just to keep this alive. Let's have another look. It's not, is it? It's good defending from Reese Whitehart. Sliding in well. Been a really harsh one if it was given. Yeah, well, you can make your own minds up as to what the decision should have been there. Difficult one for the referee with so many bodies in amongst it. Reese Whitehart putting his body on the line to protect the Loughborough goal. Closing in on the last minute to play of the first half. Bolton now really looking to push and claw the goal back before half time. McGrath. Nice diagonal. McGrath involved again. Ricochet and deflection took it through kindly to Bickerstaff. Really nice play, wasn't it? Working that ball sort of left to right, finding that diagonal. In the end, just not coming off. Nearly got themselves in a in a bit of a mess there. Look, we're trying to play out. Andrews hooks that ball forward. It's met by Dean. All gone very scrappy, hasn't it? A very Sunday league feel for <laughs> 30 seconds. Seems to be like tennis, watching that ball go backwards and forwards. Andrews brings that down nicely on his chest. Andrews turns and oh, gets the strike in, and it's gone through the legs of the goalkeeper there. Andrews with number two for himself and number four for Loughborough. And this completely out of nothing. I think if, if he doesn't score here, he might have been asking for something from that little push from Jordan Astle. He stood firm, though. He stood tall. And here we take another look at it. It's a great first touch, isn't it? Just here, look. Pushed him away. Lost his balance slightly. But it actually helped him in the end, didn't it? Give him a little bit of room. And Joe Payne won't want to see that one again, will he? Disappointing yeah, well, one for him to concede. But Loughborough, more than happy. Yeah, he'll feel that perhaps he should have done better there, Payne. But the sheer power behind the ball in the end enough to take it past the goalkeeper and it flew in with 10 seconds left to play there's the buzzer to signal the end of the first half Loughborough find themselves in a very strong position at half time for all of Bolton's hard work for moments we thought that they might get it back to just the one goal before the break instead that final goal of the half went Loughborough's way the half time score is Loughborough students four Bolton one Let's have a look at some of the key moments from the first half, the highlights from that 20 minutes. It started really brightly, didn't it? This is where Bolton just just not quite alert. Stuart Cook allowed Joe Hulme across the front of him. He was able to just guide that one home. Really good set play, but defensively Bolton very, very flat-footed. That will be their disappointment. Yeah, that was the opener. This one. Again, diagonal in the 5v4. Cook facing his own goal, trying to intercept it. Can only guide it towards Thiago Santos, and he does really well to control that finish. Looks a simple one. Very easy to, to smash that high, wide. Santos on hand there to make it 2-0. here 
Bolton do well just to get themselves back in the game. Really clever cross-field ball from Rafe Barber. Neil Morgan, wrong side of the ball, facing back towards his own goal. Has to get something on it for fear of, of what's behind him. Naturally, you do. He ends up towing it past his goalkeeper, who's been exceptional. This one really simple. Again, Bolton not alert, not at the races. Yeah, off the training ground that set piece was, wasn't it? And then we seem to have a string of really good Joe Bickerstaff saves. Joe Payne determined not to be outdone either. He was alert at the other end. Yeah, there's another stop by Bickerstaff. This is the period in the game, really, when Bolton were applying the pressure there. Asking for a penalty there, wasn't given. And then right at the end, Jake Andrews, power, determination, and a fierce strike. He's able to add a fourth for his team going into the halftime break. So then that is the story of the first half. Still plenty of action left to bring to you, though, in the second. Be sure to join us for the second half. It's 4-1 at the break.
Welcome back then for the final time today for the final half of action in the FA National Futsal Series at half time. It's Loughborough students who are 4 1 to the good up against Bolton. A great first half for them, wasn't it, Matt? It was, yeah. Everything seemed to go right for them, didn't it? Game started really closely. What we expected two teams playing with an intensity, a desire to go and try and win the game. And in the end, Everything seemed to work for Loughborough and it hasn't seemed to work for Bolton. In key moments, they've, they've not been at their best defensively, perhaps not as strong as they would feel they should be. Uh, off, off air at half time, just having a conversation with league photographer Carl Wilkinson, and he was saying that their best player has probably been 16 year old Robbie Dean, and that probably says a lot for the way that they've, uh, they've approached that, that first half, just not quite at the races. and. They know they've got more gears to go through and hopefully they find them and can get themselves back into this one because this could be a real cracking second half to end the weekend. Hopefully we do have a good second half in store. It's underway and Loughborough, well it's theirs to lose from this position really. better from Bolton that just trying to move that ball through the thirds with a little bit more pace and pressing high sent forward there by Santos to paint Bolton gets sense we need to get a goal back quickly and then they can look to try to build from there but that that next goal in the game if it goes the way of Bolton then they can that's the important one really important one it's a good area to <laughs> win a free kick but yeah the next goal is massively important in this because at 4-1 Bolton get it they'll start to believe won't they when it's Loughborough you have to feel if they were able to add a fifth before Bolton can register would feel that that advantage would give them enough of a cushion it's a really good position for a set piece very similar to where we saw one of Loughborough's goals come from wasn't it what can Bolton work from it yeah, not a dissimilar position at all. Loughborough scored from theirs. Can Bolton do the same? It's a similar run made by Lawless, but instead goes across from right to left, and then it's high up and over the crossbar of Joe Bickster. Yeah, still just couldn't direct it, could he? Execution not quite there. It's come a long way for that. It's run all the way through, and there's surely he's going to be another goal for Loughborough. It is, and Santos is the man there to score it for Loughborough. Well, Payne was taken out of the game and might have been left down on the floor in some pain as well. He's decided to come a long, long way, hasn't he? And once you've decided to do that as a goalkeeper, you've got to come and win it. Ends up colliding with his own teammate, both on the floor. Joe Huxter continues. Tiago Santos makes no mistake at the second post. There is that fifth goal. There is that four goal cushion. Well, it's a calamitous moment at the back, really, for Bolton. It's really, really tough. Now for them, you have to feel Loughborough more than capable, as they've shown time and time again, of managing a game out now they have that four goal lead yeah Loughborough will feel even more comfortable now Thiago Santos might have scored many easier goals than the brace he's got today Willie both handed to him on a plate I know he had to control the first one but that second one there just got to guide it home even under a little bit of pressure from the despairing lunge from Sam McGrath. Couldn't really miss it. Yeah, simple in the end for Santos. Huxter there trying to charge through the centre of the court.
McGrath. Lawless. Longer, nice diagonal, well controlled as well. And across for Bulmer, that's a superb Bolton goal. Real quality about that, and it's 5 2. It's a fantastic response, isn't it? Real, real quality. Probably the goal of the game. Sam McGrath, great control, great find for Mikey Bulmer. And so, so many times. What a pass this is, by the way, but from Kyle Lawless. Lovely three in line. Bulmer's alert. Bulmer's alive. And Sam McGrath's pass found him. And as he does so often, he comes up big, Mikey Bulmer, when Bolton need him. Yeah, well, very nearly departed the scene at Bolton in the summer, didn't he, with a move that fell through to go and play professionally in Italy, but still with Bolton and still scoring goals for them. So, so dedicated as well to the sport. Travels a awful long way, lives, lives up in Middlesbrough and travels across to Bolton for training, travels around the country for games and he's always there, isn't he? Very rarely seen Mikey Bormann's name missing. Doesn't miss games. What makes it even better is when you when you know him, such a, a nice, intelligent lad who is just going to get better, isn't he? Yeah, Bulmer on the score sheet then for Bolton, and we're back as we were in terms of the difference between the teams on the score line. At half time, 5 2 now. It's import it was important, Bolton got a quick response like that as well. Really big goal for them. Just to give them something, or the game could have petered out. After he intercepted the pass there from Cork, lost it forward for Grappy. Over the top of the defender there, Bournemouth, but who's on hand to get it at the second time of asking. Forget the decision. Kicking, I think, isn't it? Rather than a free kick. Just checking what. Yeah, kicking on the far side. Given, yep. Set for the shot, which was fired across towards that back post area again. One. Yeah, forward there looking for the run of Harrison Jackson, the number 19. Given away, invited the opportunity. Cook looked to pounce and send that goal bound, but well off target in the end. Put money on him, wouldn't you, in that situation? There's one player that could guide that to goal. It is Stuart Cook. Jackson just got sucked in there. They're empty away from Jackson and forward now through to Grappi. Again, two Bolton players collide. Overzealous, over enthusiastic almost, and very nearly opened up again. Joe Hoopster in the end, he'll be disappointed he's not controlled that shot. Game opening up again. Still in play, the whole ball hadn't yeah. crossed the line there. Max Graffy could have just played on with that. Oh, good oh it's all the way through, and there's an opportunity for Jackson not long onto the court, but right in front of Bickerstaff, who always seemed to be in control. Cork. Well defended by Abdi. Here's Huckster. Looking for Graffy. couldn't quite feed the pass through. But still there, happy to go back to the goalkeeper. Abdi, risky one, which he gets away with. Well, 
Came able to wriggle through. And there's a player over as well here for Abdi. He might go alone. Abdi does go alone. Santos was asking for the pass to be played. Great run, drive forward with the ball, though, from Abdi after he escaped the initial pressure. He's done fantastically well, hasn't he, to get past three players. And then here he has to square it. Simple as that, has to square it. And Thiago Santos has a, another tap in. Decision making here has to be better, and he will know it. He will know it, and his team know it. You saw the whole bench were up. Oh, into a dangerous area again there. It was Johnny Langley who fired the ball in. So, so close to a sick there on, an, on a couple of occasions. Yeah, indeed, and still pressing here a lot for the wayward with the execution of that pass though. <laughs> Payne all the way down court looking for Dean. There's enough for a ball. A bit of a mismatch that in terms of an aerial battle, isn't it? Young Robbie Dean. Same. Go big stuff, let that run out of play. Loose touch. Yeah, it was a loose touch. It needs to be better than that in that situation. Wasn't particularly under immense amounts of pressure, but the ball just escaping his spell. Sides peeling for that did look to take a double ricochet back off, and the decision is not for us. Bolton look to lock on and force the error, they do, but it could prove worse for Loughborough in the end. Just a word again from much official on the far side, Carl Jones to Jeremy Hunter, just a talking to. Facial expressions could tell a story. All three there will be quite interesting. It's a good opportunity though if they can get this right. Breaks back for Cook. Good effort. Well, the initial delivery allowed for the defensive intervention, but then it broke back to Cook on the follow-up on the rebound. Joe Big Staff happy to take his time here. Chim. Some well there, under a lot of pressure. Just to win something. A bit of a clumsy one, wasn't it? But they'll take it. Good area. We've got a couple of left footers on court. Try and work something. The first being Langley. Yeah, it comes all the way through and then across and then forward to number five there for Loughborough Langley. Good from Hunter. Still really they have it back Hunter. here, Loughborough. Hunter again, trying to squeeze it in at the near post and that time Payne's down to make the stop. It's a fantastic save, isn't it? What fantastic block from Stuart Cook. Fantastic save afterwards. Look here, sliding in as it comes back to him. Payne had to be alert. moment this is where Bolton just in that sort of defensive phase have really really struggled. Hume on the volley. Shinned it. Didn't quite catch it how you would like would he? Yeah didn't catch that one sweetly. we see from Luffer, not even a thought about dropping back to a more rigid half-court defence, always still pressing high. Bolton break free of it that time, though. I think when you're good, when you're good at applying pressure like Luffer are, there's no point in dropping off, because as soon as you do, it's very hard to get out the opposite way if, if you're in a, in a sort of retreat and you're used to playing in a half-court. There as well, going and pressing high, going and causing problems, stopping Bolton playing. 
So they've done so well so far, haven't they? And they've earned the right to be able to do that and clear their lines and just be happy to reset. One of the best teams in the in the country at playing without the ball. Yeah, such intensity about the way they defend. Here's Cook. Nice pass through to Dean. To enjoy defending, haven't you, in a game of futsal? And so many don't. This Loughborough team definitely do. To a man, every single one of them is happy to go and, and defend when, and defend like their life depends on it as well. Touch there off to share it. Walton here with a line change. All four outfield players replaced. Lawless McGrath. Mikey Bulmer and Jordan Astle on score. All straight through. It's an opportunity right from the fresh introduction of that newly brought on quartet. A really clever pass from Mikey Bulmer, just shifts it, opens up that passing line. Sam McGrath, he'll feel he should do better there. Good save from Joe Bickerstaff, but player of Sam's experience will feel he should score. They're still not done this one, is it? Bolton keep creating chances. Important from their perspective that they take one, take one quickly though. So Beata looks to try to mount a meaningful comeback. Hunter fouled there as well. Hunter that was a late challenge. Down on the deck in some distress. Sliding in, didn't he? It's just that element of control, isn't it? On, on the challenge. That's, I think, what we're talking about more than anything. Yellow card for Kai Lawless. Easy decision, really, for the referee to brandish the yellow card for that one. Just not a challenge that you want to see in a game of futsal, is it? And he's coming in like that, completely out of control, endangering his opponent. And he's very, very fortunate that he's not something worse. It's fired there from the resultant free kick against the man who was the offender, Lawless. Hume took it in his stride as he stepped onto it. Was caught late again, but the ball had already been played. Whether that's a factor in the referee's decision making, I was caught late with the with the slide, which was probably intended to be more of a block than a tackle. Yeah, it's okay as well. More of a reaction, trying to get something. Anything else, I think, there. Referee with the go-ahead for Joe Payne to drop it short. Pick a staff looking to try to dink the ball long. Staff drives forward an essential area across the face of goal again, and that's a good stop by Payne this time. On the follow up, it's into the side netting. Langley coming close for Loughborough. Did a great move, wasn't it? As we take another look, Bickerstaff coming forward finds Jamie Hunter with that diagonal. His first time passes across goal again. Bolton not quite alert, fortunately for them, their goalkeeper was. That's a good save from Joe Payne. We're still looking for that goal to really kill this game off. 
plenty of time left for Bolton. Bournemouth with the parallel pass down the line, free kick. in the back easy decision for Andy Thompson the referee it's another good area Bulmer McGrath and Astle over it Bolton need to start taking advantage of these sorts of situations though too many have led to nothing haven't they Bulmer will go back post this time it struck direct for goal with a couple of decoy runs, but held by Bickerstaff, then tried to catch Payne out. It had to be something spectacular. Yeah, a little bit wasteful from him in the end. Wing back possession, bottom retreating, just maybe set back. McGrath there, not quite on the same wavelength as teammate Astle. Really poor execution, wasn't it? Too many times in those sorts of areas, Bolton have, have surrendered possession like that. Sam would dis be disappointed with himself. Really high standards. I have to go back to his goalkeeper. And to the ball at his feet again against Lawless. He's seen a lot of the ball in the game and often tries to pick the long diagonal balls up to the pivot. Seen that across the course of the game so far. Still just under 11 minutes to play. Barber offloaded there to McGrath. Better. Good move. But again, resolute defending from Loughborough. Happy now, aren't they? You can see probably the last five minutes happy to let Bolton have the ball. Pick the ball off in moments like this and see what they can work. Yeah, Andrews prevented that from crossing the line for the kick in, but not the goal clearance. Cook, Bolton ball. Worked really hard, Jake Andrews, hasn't he? Up and down the court. That last one there, trying to go and win something that he had no right to win. And then here, works back after giving Joe Payne possession. And it was him doubling up on Stuart Cook that prevented it being anything more than a kick in. Barber to Cook now. Cook assessing his options goes to the left Jackson back to Cook Jackson there dispossessed there's a counter attack opportunity as well here for Loughborough Hume Morgan's waiting for it Hume in the end had that option just cut off slightly and another save to add to the tally for Payne a cry from the Loughborough bench then it was more shoot wanting Neil Morgan to take that on himself and certainly in that sort of situation to feel the captain should have try to almost be too clever didn't he I think Harrison Jackson just getting a final warning there was a tug back on Joe Hume in that move earlier on yeah the rolling foul was there indicated by the referee on the far side Carl Jones having played the advantage for the Tug back on the shirt as Andrews there. Played the ball into a promising area at the back post, but Morgan not there to turn it in. Really good display, isn't it, from Loughborough. Every time they come forward, they look likely out of possession. 
really strong. It's another foul. And as frustrated as Stuart Cook is with that one, Jake Andrews is there first, and he's coming in from the back. Always going to be given as a foul, isn't it? Tune and the pressure from Rob Harper. Quiet game, Rob Harper today. Not normally, the, probably the first time we've mentioned his name. Normally, someone Bolton can always rely on. Andrews Ruffle with the kick in with every play the clock continues to tick down and the task gets even more difficult even bigger amount to climb for Bolton two goals in this second half but they both came inside the first two minutes of it Well managed, hasn't it? Loughborough just happy to see the game out almost. They'll wait, they'll be patient, they'll wait for their opportunities because while they can just defend and keep getting the ball back like that, they're going to be more than happy, aren't they? Rolling the changes quickly. Staff again sends it long and diagonal. Cook on hand to nip in and win the ball back. Body streaming forward, both left and right. Across the face of goal, looking for Harper. Bolton feel that that should be a corner. Ooh, Rob Dean's done excellently here, hasn't he? Cook, really good awareness, find space. We see it, should be, shouldn't it? You can understand why the referees wouldn't see that. Equally, understand why Bolton are aggrieved. But we need to up the space, need to look at just speeding things up now, start creating a few more chances. They're going to get back into this one and have to score goals, aren't they? To put it bluntly, and they're not going to score goals playing around on the halfway line. So, what can they work? Cool, this is a more promising position. Cork toying with the Loughborough defence. It's Dean Barber. Here's Harper to Cook again. Kick it. to find that spark from somewhere Bolton they do have so many players that can produce that moment of brilliance just not quite working for them is it at the moment better moments though you have to feel playing at this end of the court just want to see a little bit more from them coming together there between Harper and Jake Andrews of Loughborough back to his feet now though he tried to help his team out defensively Loughborough have the ball it was then fired against the Loughborough man who's gone down to ground and it's a foul given for the challenge on Whitehart he did really well didn't he Reese Whitehart and then here it's a charge isn't it by Rafe Barber Card shown for that challenge as well. Cynical one. They're totting up now, aren't they? Four fouls, three yellow cards. Andrews. Bonk 
call the timeout. Yeah, seven minutes and 24 seconds left to play. So to play, we'll restart with Bolton's keeper Joe Payne when we resume. Do you think that the fly goalkeeper tactic, Matt, might be something that they look to, or is that not something that you think Bolton will they might have use it? They might have to at some stage, yeah, especially with the foul count creeping up. It'll help them both both ways, won't it? They're going to have to look at utilising something because at the moment, not creating anywhere near enough chances. So if they can utilise fly goalkeeper and they can find a way back into that game through that, then it's something they'll definitely look at. They just, more than anything, need to have more quality at the moment. Too many times in, in good getting themselves into good areas and then wasting really good opportunities just through a lack of com composure. They need players to take, take responsibility of the situation they find themselves in. Some really talented players on there, players that can go and hurt Loughborough. Just haven't done enough so far today. That'll be really disappointing for Stuart Cook and Mick Parrish. And it means that Loughborough just over seven minutes of playing time away from wrapping up this three points. Headed to goal there is comfortably saved by Bickerstaff. Andrews with no other option really than to just reset long. And here we see it from Bolton with Joe Payne stepping into the attacking half and they will look to try to use him as a fly keeper. Need to move the ball quickly here, Bolton, as they're in danger of running the clock down their own time themselves. Joe looking to take the middle of this sort of diamond and go and occupy some space, and he'll look to apply blocks and screens to free up room for his teammates. But they may mix it up, they may look to use Joe in that and then bring perhaps Stuart Cook on and as the fly goalkeeper as well if they can mix it between the two to share and with a nice screen to just allow that extra split second for Teixeira to play the pass and again makes the dart forwards as you rightly point out when they are playing this have to move the ball quickly get on with it almost because otherwise all they're succeeding in doing in this clock down for Loughborough plays into the hands of Loughborough defending it very very well so far that's, that's the kind of block they're looking for from Joe Payne not quite work the way they would have hoped they do have a set piece though and it's a corner which so the Joe Payne might take it not often you see a goalkeeper taking a corner is it Matt how did you know the first goalkeeper you would see take it would be that one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Lawless towards Payne at the second post, but he's never going to be able to get contact on that. What he does have, let's be let's be fair to him. We give him a bit of grief, don't we? Bless him. But he has a great tactical knowledge of the game, Joe Payne. When he's in that fly goalkeeper routine, he'll go and take good areas, as we've seen, and he'll he'll create spaces for his teammates. Good from Tashira. Really good battling, determined battling to fight back in. Not allow Sam McGrath any room. Yeah, Tashira trapped McGrath the whole way back there. As he needed to do. Cook on as well. Now what you what you'd have to feel is Joe's position changes now with Stuart Cook on, on that left hand side. He needs to try and do oh, Cook's lost out and the net's empty of course Abdi looking to run the ball home Abdi it's gone in from range desperate attempt to slide back and stop it crossing the line but it's another for Loughborough and it's Luke Abdi it's fantastic isn't it it's a mistake from Stuart Cook uncharacteristic from him don't see many we've seen a couple in this one Luke Abdi was on hand, he rubbed him very, very quickly between him and Jamie Hunter. 
and in here just guided it towards goal he was happy to just let that roll in wasn't he clattered into the back of the net there Stuart Cook but fortunately for him so did the ball after he was dispossessed I think it was more of a drive and dribble forward from Avdin than anything with the final touch that took it into the net but doesn't matter either way took advantage 6-2 the ball it's a really good ball from Stuart Cook and again really good save from Bickerstaff alert stepping out quickly to cover that space left in the 5v4 that's what you want your goalkeeper doing surely now that is the killer goal Leaves a question really of what ifs for Bolton. The chances that they had in the first half as well as the second. But also a few of the sloppy goals that they conceded. Oh, They've given the ball away again here. Anthony there trying to play the pass, and I think he thought that Mikey Bulmer was on his side for a moment. It's towards the second post for Payne again. Abdi, it's all very scrappy out there. Cork stopped by Bickerstaff. Game, Joe Bickerstaff, really good start, wasn't it? Let's give Liverpool a lot of credit. They've defended so, so resiliently. Once they've got in front, they've picked Bolton off. And they've been happy to just play in these sorts of situations, do their jobs. Every one of them, they trust each other. They work really hard together. Bulmer. A little bit more space now for Bolton to try to exploit. So it's very compact in front of goal, though, across the pane. Well, he scored last season in a goal that proved much more crucial. But nonetheless, pain on the score sheet. And it's a really good move, isn't it? Bulmer and Cook moving that ball much more, qu much more quick, quickly. Finding that pass into Sam McGrath on one post, and he just plays it back across for Joe Payne on the other. 6-3. They need the ball back now. Yeah, his goal last season came against Birmingham in the last final few seconds of the game to draw level. Superb moment that was for him. This one didn't quite have the same feel about it in the context of the scoreline, but 6-3. Three. three goals behind. Never say never, but... It's a long, long time to go in this one, Isaac. Like... So we say three and a half minutes, plenty of time for them. But they've got to get that ball back. They need the ball back in, in possession. Yeah, Loughborough have scored goals at crucial moments throughout the game. It's a good ball, really good ball. Abdi goes on again, then forced to check back. Hunter. Option to the right in Huckster. Hunter trying to find Joe Huckster. And as well to keep possession by virtue of the kick in. Done really well there, Jamie Hunter. A couple of occasions. They've probably taken oh, it's nearly a minute now off this clock. Really good game management from Loughborough. Running down the clock. Make it really, really difficult for Bolton. Who, as we keep saying, need that ball back if they're going to get anything out of this. Fantastic, Rob D. Dean. Yeah, the referee there trying to play advantage, but it was always going to be brought back for the free kick, and there's a yellow card out as well. Yeah, Fabio Tashira. At this stage in the game, won't mind that yellow. The most disappointing thing will be that they've given Bolton possession back I think piling a little bit more pressure on themselves we got Cook, Barber, Harper Payne just out of shot can't tell who the lawless I think is at this near post yeah that's the five on court for Bolton at the moment here's Harper got to be quicker a little bit slow Cook it was quicker, wasn't it, before? Because Staff looking to get the strike in. Payne tried to stop him from doing so. It falls wide anyhow. And looking to 
press early. That's nice from Harper to skip away from the initial challenge. Forward through to Payne. Half an opportunity, perhaps. Lawless went down off the ball. Back to his feet now. Barber goes to goal. Close. Really close. Really, really close. Just for a moment, you thought it was opening up for Joe Payne again, didn't you? Probably did the right thing in turning it back and resetting. Bickerstaff was scampering from Rafe Barber's shot. Bottom working really hard now, trying to get that ball back. Here we go again, they've done it. A minute 40 left. Yeah, time really running out for them now, though. Lawless. Another foul that takes Loughborough on to five, which they reached in the first half as well. Pressure piling on Loughborough. This is what we want to see, isn't it, in these games. Bottomed them really well, actually, to keep themselves in the game. And when they've used this fly, they've been really, really intelligent with it. Interesting final 90 seconds in store. Yeah, we've seen a number of free kicks from positions similar to this. Can Bolton work this one right? Harper across to Cook. Blocked away and then cleared away. It's a kick in as well. Bob desperately trying to get the game alive really, really quickly. And that's more about not allowing Loughborough out because they could trap them back in and under pressure. Clever across to Barber, nice pass. Time of course still ticking down, Payne, Barber looking for Harper. Payne's there again, back he goes to Cook. Certainly giving it their all here, Bolton. Lawless, and it's blocked away, but it looks as though it's going to prove to be too little too late for Bolton and just in the big moments the game's gone against them and credit to Loughborough for the way in which they've defended so resolutely as well. You have to give them credit don't you because they've managed the managed this second half really really well. Went a long long time without a goal. That's free in the strike from range again. He's off target not easy those long range efforts from 35 odd metres out, it's a small target from that range. Sometimes as good as anything. Just having one roll towards goal, ticks off a few more seconds, isn't it? In there for Barber, Abdi might sense a chance again, this time it goes for a flat shot along the ground and oh, that was inches wide. And that's what, the way he struck that ball, so from this position here, this is a good five, six seconds. And he's taken off that clock, and as much as he's missed the target, just runs more time down. Feel time ran out now for Bolton. Surely not enough left for them. Cook. Bolton looking for now what would only be another consolation. Loughborough have the three points wrapped up. And a big three points oh. as Payne gets his head to it. Well, Loughborough do have the three points, but Bolton have another goal. And Joe Payne, the Bolton goalkeeper, has himself a brace. It's a good header as well. Really good header. And he'll be pleased with that one. There's the final buzzer, though. Only a consolation at the end, that one for Payne. It finishes Loughborough 6, Bolton 4 to round off the action. A 10-goal thriller in which Loughborough led by four goals to one at half-time. A better second-half display by Bolton, but in the end, it didn't prove to be enough. And the three points are that of Loughborough's. Let's take a look then at some of the goals from what was an excellent, highly entertaining match. 
can go. Just look at this one earlier. Easy to forget. Bolton got themselves in a mess, didn't they? Right at the start of the half. Payne and Kernahan colliding. Didn't see much of Kernahan after that. Joe Huxter took full advantage. Slides it across goal. And Thiago Santos was on hand just to knock it home. Bolton hit back, though. This was a really good goal. Nice three in line. Sam McGrath finding that pass across goal and Mikey Bulmer, that ever dependable Mikey Bulmer, on hand to guide it home. Yeah, probably the pick of the bunch that for me with the way in which they work the long diagonal and then the ball back across. But yeah, Loughborough taking advantage of the empty net. Abdi with the goal. Really good defending. That's what that was more about than anything else. And Luke Abdi's performance in the game defensively probably deserved that goal as well. Him and Jamie Hunter working tirelessly trying to win that back. And in the end, the ball was just too quick for Stuart Cook scampering back in trying to make amends for his mistake. Bottom continued with this fly goalkeeper though, didn't they? Didn't start well did have some joy first this one really clever diagonal pass into Sam McGrath on one post Joe Payne tapping in at the other yeah that was Payne's first we'll see his second in just a moment but proved to be too little too late in the end and just ran out of time Bolton yeah, this this was that one, wasn't it? Inches wide, well, not even inches, millimeters wide of that post as Abdi looked for his second before Payne was able to head one home. Brace for the goalkeeper, but it wasn't enough as time ran out. Another look at it, clever pass from Cook. It's a really smart header. But Bolton on Mick Parrish's final visit to St George's Park, weren't able to get anything. It was Loughborough who go home with the three points. Yeah, so time running out for Bolton at the end of that one. And unfortunately, time running out for us this weekend as well. There's the scores from today's games. It started with a hugely convincing, big, big win for Bloomsbury over the reigning champions, London Helvetia, who, to say the least, had their struggle 7 0. Heartbreak then with a narrow 5-4 win over York. Manchester overcoming Wessex by nine goals to four. And then the game that we've just seen concluded with Loughborough students beating Bolton by six goals to four in the end. Let's take a look at the league table to round things off. That's how we stand after match day four. Still very compact in that middle section of the table, isn't it, Matt, with everything still to play for in the battle for the top four playoffs? It is, yeah. Really good win for Loughborough, look. Them and Manchester keeping the pressure on Bloomsbury right at the sharp end. And that middle pack now, really tight, isn't it? Helvetia, Hartbury, Bolton, York, all within three points of each other. And Wessex, unfortunately, adrift slightly at the bottom with work to do if they want to stave off relegation. Yeah, so Bloomsbury, the table toppers after match day four. Thank you for joining us this weekend. It's been great to take you through the coverage on BT Sport join us next time in a few weeks time when we'll be back with action on the weekend on the 11th of December. From me, Isaac Barrington and Matt Hardy alongside me, thank you for joining us and goodbye.